for me, using the Mars blades, uh, work it into what I have. So I've got a small area in the garage, and uh, basically there's, there's a lot of different ways you can use them. If you have a big parking lot nearby, get it in the parking lot. If you have a small flat area, you can use a small flat area. And if you have a quiet road, uh, you can develop all kinds of different ways to train yourself with Mars blades. You're working on your balance, and then the Mars blade has that rocker motion to it, so it makes you work it just a little bit more. And definitely it's going to carry over onto the ice. Hi, Marcus. So we're going to work on some transitions. Basically, just have a little progression. So start with something easy, and then we'll build on it and work on going from forwards to backwards and backwards to forwards, which obviously in hockey is pretty important. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So uh, first one is pretty simple. Just going to work on balancing on one leg. So we're going to treat this wall right here like the boards, and there is the open ice. You always want to open up towards the play, right? So we'll pretend that there's a puck out there, and we're transitioning. Uh, opening up towards that puck. Okay. So what we want is just we're going to work on balancing on the right leg and gliding down this little path right here and just hold that one leg balance as long as you can. So one push, hold that balance, and just get that feeling. And then going back the same way, we'll do the same thing, except this time left leg balance. Now we're going to take it up a little bit more difficult now. Same thing, we're going backwards now, so just working okay. on that single leg balance. So we've got a little bit of speed, and the leg we want you on is the one closest to the wall, because we're always opening up, never turn your back on the play. And we'll get to why we're doing that later, so just balancing on that one leg and rolling backwards. Just maintain that control. Good job. No problem. And you might find that some of these, when you do them, it's easier to do them faster. So try to do them slow at first and then get a little more speed. And you might find that it's actually a bit easier if you go a bit faster. It's kind of like on a bicycle. Okay. You know, when you're on a bicycle, if you're going fast, it's easier to stay up. But if you go really slow, you feel a little wobbly, right? So let's do the same thing. Uh, right leg now, get that balance, one close to the wall, a little bit speed. And just hold that one leg backwards balance. This next step in the progression is what uh, most people might find the, mo the most difficult because it requires quite a bit of flexibility. We have two feet on the ground, and so some people might think that's easier, but the problem is one's going forwards and one is going backwards. So some people might find that flexibility difficult. What we're gonna do to start is just hold all that weight on the foot closest to the ward boards there, so it's gonna be the right leg here, and we just wanna open up the hips, plant that one foot, and then bring it back. So I'll show you what it looks like. So all the weight's on this right leg, touch here, and then return. Touch here, return. The weight is always on that front foot for now, and it's just to get that flexibility and into that motion. So what you'll find here is, is keeping the uh, bit of a knee bend on that glide leg is gonna help you open up. And what's really important is just opening up the hips. So the problem that I see some people having is they'll have all the weight here and they'll be trying to turn this foot, but their hips stay pointed forward. You have to turn the hips. So turn the shoulders, turn the hips, and that allows you to get into that position. So we'll do the same thing going back. So now all the weight's gonna be on that left leg. We're just gonna touch and then back. Touch, back, touch, back. Great. So that was good, just getting that touch, not putting all the weight. So now what we're gonna do is the same drill, we're gonna hold it though, and then try to get that weight even on both of those feet. So we're gonna call, call it the spread eagle, or the mohawk, or in Swedish, you have a word for it? Delianare. Delianare? That's, that's like the player that introduced it to the NHL apparently. So we're gonna just open up and hold that position. Oh. Uh -huh. So you might be wondering how all those pieces work together to a transition going from forwards to backwards. Basically we targeted each one and really focused on it. And when we do it, it's only gonna happen for a split second, but I'll t try to talk it uh, through you slowly. So two foot balance, one foot balance, that spread eagle, one foot balance, two foot, and now we're going backwards. And the same thing backwards. So we've got that backwards one foot, opening up one foot, and then going forwards. So by targeting, those small pieces and then adding them all together, it's gonna to make it a lot easier to pull off that whole maneuver. Opening up, perfect, plan it, open up again. No 
problem. All right, so I mean, seems like pretty simple drills and, and you can find any just small space to do it. And it's a really simple way. Uh, you're out in the city, but you're working on your hockey skills. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I'm sure you felt a bit of a workout just doing yeah, it for yeah, a yeah. few minutes. So yeah, yeah, definitely. just imagine really focusing on that. And uh, we both had like a little bit of a struggle there where a bit uneven. So something that it's easy to work on, just throwing the Mars blades and just try to get in that position right there. Yeah. A little bit of workout, a little bit of flexibility, and it's going to pay off on the ice. Oh, thanks a lot, Marcus. Yeah, thanks. It was awesome having you. Yep. Thanks a lot for watching the videos, guys. If you're looking for more ways to improve your skills, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out both my YouTube channels, The Hockey Movement and How To Hockey. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one.